Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today I am going to show you how we come up with the two special right angle triangles that we use a lot in trigonometry. The reason we need the special triangles is to get the exact value for certain special angles. We're going to do this today in degrees and the special angles that we can get from the triangles are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Uh, I will show you how we then use the special triangles as well to get the exact values. So there are two special triangles, and so I'm going to start with the, the basics here for the two of them. Let's start with that first one. We want to start, uh, for this one, we'll start with a an isosceles triangle. That means we have two equal sides and we need the right angle in it because the right angle is what allows us to use the primary trig ratios. We need the right angle for that. So starting with an isosceles triangle and a right angle allows us to determine that each of these angles must be 45 degrees. And that's because the interior angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. And we have a 90 here, and a 45 and a 45 will be another 90, and that will give us 180 degrees. Okay, so that's one of the special angle values, 45 degrees. We can use this um, vertex of the triangle, or we can use this vertex of the triangle, and it actually won't matter because they both have the same values. So we want the values for the side lengths of this right angle triangle to be able to derive those uh, primary trig ratios. So what I'm going to suggest we do, because we always pick the easiest numbers possible, is to label this leg of the right angle triangle as one unit. And then if it's equivalent to this one, we're gonna label this also one unit. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem or sum of squares to tell us the length of this side length right there. If you forget it, so some people might be able to do it right now um, in their heads. If you forget, then we can just, just do it um, off to the side. We'll do it over here. One squared plus one squared equals, uh, we'll call that, let's call that the radius squared. And one squared is one, one squared is one. So one plus one gives us two. And that will give us an R value of root two. Now, don't evaluate that as a decimal. That'll give you an approximate value. And the whole purpose of the special triangles is to give us exact values. So that's gonna be root two. Okay, so now we have a right angle triangle with an angle of 45 degrees there. The side lengths here are one and one, and this one is root two. We can use now all of those values to allow us to get the primary trig uh, ratio values when we have a special angle of 45 degrees. So we do this remembering that sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So if I have this angle here as the angle I'm using it, using, the opposite is one and the hypotenuse is root two. So the value of sine of 45 degrees is one over root two. That's an exact value. Now, maybe uh, we wanna rationalize that denominator because some people don't like to see uh, radicals in the denominator. So we would multiply by root two over root two. So we also say this is equal to root two over two. And there's our exact value. We can do it again for the next trig ratio. Let's do cosine. So cosine of 45 degrees. Let's use the angle 45 degrees here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is one. Hypotenuse is root two. And we get again one over root two, which is the same thing as root two over two. All right, that's the exact value for cosine of 45 degrees. And the last primary trig ratio, tangent. So we'll do tangent of 45 degrees. 
and the tangent ratio is opposite over adjacent. So if I'm using this angle here, it's 45 degrees, opposite is one, and adjacent is one. We will do one over one, which equals one. And the value of tangent of 45 degrees is exactly one. No need to use a calculator at all because we're getting exact values here. So that's the special triangle for the angle 45 degrees. Now let's talk about the special triangle for 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And we actually accomplish both using one triangle now. So what I've started off with here is an equilateral triangle. And this equilateral triangle, um, I'm going to say all the side lengths here are two. You might be asking why I'm not using one, and the reason is because I'm going to turn this equilateral triangle into a right angle triangle in a minute. So we're going to call each side length here two. And they're all equal, like this. But if we're talking about trig ratios, we need to have a right angle triangle in order to use those trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent that we did above. So we need a right angle triangle here. I'm gonna take this equilateral triangle and I'm going to cut it in half, exactly. Let me use maybe a, a thicker marker to do this. So I'm gonna cut it in half, like this. And I'm gonna use one half of this triangle as my special triangle. So let me re-outline what I have so you can focus on just the half. Okay, so look at that now. We've created a right angle triangle from the uh, equilateral triangle that we had here. There's the right angle that I created. Let's look at the original equilateral triangle. If we have an equilateral triangle, and all of the inside angles of the triangle have to add up to 180 degrees, as we said above, then all three of the angles need to be equal. So that means each angle here is going to be 60 degrees. This one is 60 degrees. This one is 60 degrees. And this one up here is 60 degrees, but I cut it in half. So half of 60 degrees now leaves us with an angle of 30 degrees on that top vertex. And now you see we've created a triangle that has a 30 degree in it and a 60 degree in it. And there's our 90 degree. We can check 90 plus 30 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. So that works. Now let's talk about the side lengths. If this side length was two, and then I cut this triangle in half, this side length here is now one. Now you see why I wanted to name this whole length two. So now we have really nice numbers. So the question becomes, what is this missing side length right here? So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem or sum of squares to figure out that missing side length. Okay, so let's do the same as we did above. This is one squared plus, let's call that y y squared equals the hypotenuse there, two squared. Okay, so this leaves us with one plus y squared equals four. Let's solve for y, move this over. y squared equals three, which means y is root three. So this side length right here is root three. Now we have here this bolded triangle complete. That is our other special triangle. And then this is going to allow us to get the trig ratios for 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, let's write them out so we can practice. Let's do 30 degrees first. So we're focusing on this angle right here. Okay, we'll do sine of 30 degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse. One over two. Let's do cosine, 30 degrees. 
cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is the angle we're looking at, adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. And the last one, tangent of 30 degrees. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. That's 1 over root 3. And if we want to rationalize so that we do not have a radical in the denominator, we multiply this by root 3 over root 3, and we get root 3 over 3. These are the exact values when we're using 30 degrees as our angle. Okay, let's do the same thing for our 60 degree angle. So we'll do it again, but this time we're gonna use 60 degrees, this angle right here. Sine of 60 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, that's root three over two. Let's do cosine of 60 degrees. 60 degrees is here. We're gonna do adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse, one over two. And the final one, tangent of 60 degrees Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. Root 3 over 1, which is root 3. And again, here are our exact values for the special angles that we know. We did 30 degrees and 60 degrees from this special triangle, and we did 45 degrees from this special triangle. Thanks for watching. This is A Loves Math.